This is in memory of all the crunchy goodness we've lost over the years. New E.T. cereal, made with E.T.'s favorite flavors, chocolate and real peanut butter. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 discontinued cereals we wish they would bring back. For this list, we're looking at popular cereals that have been taken off the market. Brands that have been exclusively relegated to a rotation of seasonal releases will not be considered. Sorry, Count Chocula. Obviously, cereals that have been brought back, despite a name change like Pop-Tarts Crunch being shortened to Pop-Tarts Cereal in 2019, are also excluded. Number 10. Nintendo Cereal System While true to the Nintendo brand, the clunky name may have played a role in its demise. What the Nintendo Cereal System lacked in catchy naming, it more than made up for in pretty much every aspect of its design, concept, and branding. The box was designed to look like oversized NES game packaging and came with stickers, Nintendo Power Cards, and the chance to win a PowerPad NES accessory. Most impressively, the NCS actually delivered two cereals in one box, each based on one of their two flagship games, Super Mario Bros. and Zelda. Powering up in 1986, the NCS used its last life in 1989. Number 9. Bill & Ted's Excellent Cereal Excellent cereal! Cinnamon oats with marshmallow notes! Wild Stallions Rule Promising a most awesome breakfast adventure, this concoction of cinnamon oat squares with marshmallow notes was inspired by the most triumphant Bill & Ted movies of the late 80s and early 90s. No way! As well as serving as a promotional tie-in to the animated TV spin-off. With the small screen cartoon opening up the audience to a younger demographic, it seemed Ralston Purina believed it'd be a most non-heinous idea to introduce this resplendent offering to the breakfast market. Despite being on store shelves for a limited time and being, quote, fortified with 12 essential vitamins and minerals, Bill & Ted's excellent cereal also gave away multiple free items throughout its run, such as hysterical postcards and dial-a-dude phone number organizers. Whoa. Let's reach out and touch someone. Number 8. Teddy Graham's Breakfast Bears Eating cookies for breakfast. It was basically a childhood dream come true. And honestly, apart from the fact that they'd been labeled a breakfast cereal rather than snack crackers, as kids, we really couldn't tell much of a difference between these and their cookie-like counterparts. Appearing on shelves just two years after the snack crackers, this line of cereal was proof that Nabisco's Teddy Grahams were a force to be reckoned with in the grocery store. Sadly, this wickedly delicious cereal, which came in honey, chocolate, and cinnamon varieties, was not meant to last. After eight years on the market, it was discontinued in 1998. Number 7. Mr. T Cereal We pity the fool who doesn't get to eat this cereal anymore. Which is all of us. There's no denying it, Mr. T knows how to sell his image. He took elements from his roles in Rocky III and the A-Team and blended them into a distinct and enduring off-screen persona, one that has been successfully marketing for decades. Me, man. From Mr. T's flavorware turbo oven to the Chia Mr. T, the man born Lawrence Turote has sold many a product, but his cereal is one we all miss. This bowl full of miniature teas was pretty much Cap'n Crunch reshaped, but something about that Mr. T box made it taste so much better. Number 6. Dino Pebbles The Flintstones have had a long and successful run in the cereal industry. Fruity Pebbles have been selling since 1971. Same for Cocoa Pebbles. Various spin-off flavors of the week have come and gone over the years, like Bedrock Blizzard and Cine Crunch Pebbles, but Dino Pebbles? That's the one offering we really wish we could get back. Maybe there's no room for three flagship Flintstone cereals in the post-cereals roster. Or perhaps dinosaurs are simply always the first to go. All we know is we liked seeing Dino take the spotlight. And that puffed rice cereal, mixed with mini Dino marshmallows, sure hit the spot. Marshmallow Dino licious! Number 5. C-3PO's In a galaxy far, far away, who knows, maybe they still sell the cereal. Honestly, we suspect that the only reason this cereal originally happened was due to the fact that the wordplay was too easy to pass up. And, you know, because Star Wars was a bona fide merchandising juggernaut. Unlike most offerings on this list, however, C-3PO's was a cereal parents could actually feel good about giving to their kids. It was basically just Cheerios in a figure eight shape. But the packaging and theme were enough to make us eat them with gusto. Considering most boxes came with some sort of Star Wars swag, we could not get enough. Number four. Ice Cream Cones Sugar-loaded cereals are like crack for kids, so it's only natural that the sickeningly sweet brands are the ones we're going to remember most fondly. Case in point, Ice Cream Cone Cereal. Sold by General Mills in the late 80s when companies were not even bothering to pretend that the cereal they were peddling was healthy, 
Ice cream cones consisted of puffed sweet treats that tasted like your favorite flavors of ice cream. Chocolate chip, vanilla, and chocolate. Little golden sugar cone-shaped triangles stood in for the cones to complete the visual effect. They only lasted a year in their original run, though it was brought back for a one-time deal in 2003 for the ice cream cone's 100th anniversary, and General Mills introduced drumstick cereal in 2019. But 1987 was still the sweetest year of them all. Number 3. S'mores Grams, also known as S'mores Crunch. Ice cream is great, but maybe you gravitated more towards the serialized, deconstructed version of this late-night camping fireside snack. General Mills has shrunk down many a treat over the years. Some have stood the test of time, like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, while others, like French Toast Crunch, were discontinued, only to be revived due to popular demand. Make it homemade taste. I like it. Sadly, this particular offering, which boldly threw marshmallows into the mix without even bothering to disguise them as something else, is no longer available. It ran from 1982 to 1988 and was briefly brought back in the 90s, only to get the axe again. Number 2. Cap'n Crunch's Oops! Choco Donuts It's a thin line that companies need to walk when trying to market cereal based on baked goods to kids. Parents can seemingly accept sweet treat-based products, as long as they're inspired by traditional breakfast dishes like French toast or cinnamon toast. But when the concept is something like ice cream or, as is the case here, donuts, it's a little harder to swallow. Parents be damned, though. These were awesome. With the familiar face of Cap'n Crunch on the box, these chocolate cereal rings garnished with sprinkles were a home run with the kids. Sadly, they were also too good for this world and were discontinued. Before we take a huge spoonful of our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. So hang up your pants while the Earth Glows ran. We're Earth Alive with Earth Alive. Everyone loves me. Smurf Magic Berry, red, orange, and yellow. With my stars of marshmallow, new Smurf Magic Berry cereal. All your favorite donut shapes, rings, holes, and twists. You can choose rich chocolate or glazed donut flavors, or both as part of a nutritious breakfast. Orange flavor on this side. Cherry, Cherry flavor on this side. Cherry. So, which side? They're both so delicious, I can't decide. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Cereal Yes! General Mills has released a modern TMNT-themed cereal inspired by the animated Nickelodeon series, but that is not the cereal we want. This show, as well as the contemporary live-action films, may resonate with the youth, but we are here in the name of nostalgia, and for 80s and 90s kids, few properties hit the mark like our favorite heroes in a half shell. Featuring our beloved animated crime fighters on the box, this cereal, true to its namesake, was an odd hybrid that combines a base cereal similar to Chex with Lucky Charm-style marshmallows. And you know what? It was totally awesome. Nice, Redhead. Want to help put all the marshmallows back? Uh, these guys can handle it. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.